Today we're going to be comparing for you the differences in the custom fit vehicle wiring options available for the 2018 Honda Pilot. Now the wiring systems we're going to be comparing today are going to be two four pole systems, one from Kurt, this is part number C56291, and one from Takancha, this is part number 118679. These give us the basic signals that we need, like our right turn and brake, our left turn and brake, and a tail light signal. Once we move over to the next one, this is going to offer a seven pole design. Now the seven pole gives us those same three, but we're going to add a reverse light signal, we're going to add a 12 volt power signal, and if you decide to, you can also wire a brake controller up to this system. That part number from Takancha is 118274. The basic systems here are going to deliver for us the lights that we need for maybe a cargo carrier, maybe a small trailer, even a, a boat trailer, something like that. Our four poles, we've got our right turn and brake, our left turn and brake, and our running lights, and of course our, our ground to ground the system together. And then with the seven pole, is going to add in a power wire to the rear to give you 12 volt power at the plug. It's going to add in the reverse signal to override any marine style brakes. And it's also going to give us a connection point for a brake controller if you decided to install that. Now all of our kits are fuse protected here. Each one of them is going to have a fuse holder and they're going to provide the fuse for you to slide that into. And as they deliver these signals, they, they get their information from here, it's going to go into our converter box. Now this is going to convert that signal into a usable signal for our plug, but it's also going to isolate the trailer from the vehicle. So we're not going to have to worry so much about maybe an old trailer that's got a short in it causing damage to our nice new car that we're trying to haul it with. Now, all three of these harnesses are very, very similar in how they're going to install in your vehicle. They're all going to use a plug, just like this, and it's going to plug into an existing connection point in the rear of your pilot, rear driver's side, just behind the panel, pretty easy to get to. It's going to be a simple plug-in. And then the last thing that you really want to compare with wiring harnesses is going to be power output. Now the Kurt is going to deliver three amps for our right turn and brake signals, our left turn and brake signals, and for our running lights it's going to be at six amps. Now that should be more than enough power to take care of your cargo carriers, your small utility trailers, and even enclosed trailers. Once we get to the Takancha here with the four pole connector, it's going to go up to 4.2 amps for our turn signals on each side and seven and a half amps for the tail light signals. Now that's going to be a little bit more power than what our Kurt's delivering, so I would think in this case, this is going to be more suited if you still want to use a four pole connector, but maybe you've got a trailer that has a lot of incandescent lights on it, maybe like a little bit larger utility trailer that might have a few extra lights on it, and you want that little higher amperage output. Now for the seven pole kit, the amperage output is going to be the same, we're just going to have a different style connector. Now if you do have multiple trailers, like maybe you've got a seven pole round on one trailer or a four pole flat on another trailer, we do have adapters that you can simply plug in here and it'll give you a four pole flat there that you can connect your trailer to to give you a little bit of versatility. Now let's take a look at where the advantage lies with the more important things that we consider with custom fit vehicle wiring. Ease of installation is going to go with the Kurt because you don't have to route anything outside. But when we look at accessibility and our wiring being readily available on the outside of the vehicle, both of our Takanchas are going to win that battle. Power output is also going to be in favor of the Takancha wiring harnesses. And when it comes down to the pure versatility of the wiring on the back of your vehicle, the seven pole is definitely going to have that with the additional 12 volt power output, reverse signal, and the capability of hooking up a brake controller to it. And that's going to complete our look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring options available for the Honda Pilot.